Bless they tell you. So when you see somebody giving God thanks for a breakthrough, when you see somebody giving God thanks through their trials, just help them. Just help them. Bless you. candidates thank you very much and to sister Karine thank you very very much for that powerful ministry we'll have the intercessory prayer by sister Iona Bachkam Good afternoon, everybody. Let us pray. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything, not some things, but everything to God in prayer. Well, I am here this, mo this afternoon just to say that God is so good. I never knew that I would be here today. But because of the grace of God and his mercy that has brought me through, I am here. Yes. And I want to pray for all those who are out of God and Christ this morning. Because it is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Yes. Just to take him at his word. If we just take Jesus at his word, you know, we wouldn't, do, we wouldn't go wrong. Because God is so good to me. I, I, I think I've said it here so many times that I was blind, you know. Blind, I'm not joking. I was blind, I couldn't see. I carry a Bible and I book to church to make people know that this church me coming. But I'm not seeing nothing at all. And I tell you, those people that came from America down in St. Anne's Bay Hospital, they said I have um, not glaucoma, they said that I have cataract. And you know they removed two cataracts out of my eyes. And I am seeing Pastor laugh one day. I said, Pastor, I can't see from here to Montego Bay now. <laughs> God is good. You would wonder to know God is good. People, let me tell you. If you once walk with God and you turn back, please come back. Mm -hmm. Please don't stay out here. Please mm -hmm. come back. Mm -hmm. Because God is so good. Mm -hmm. Coronavirus take Jamaica. But I think it has the least amount of people that has it here. God is so good to us. If you just call on him, just call on Jesus, and he will hear and answer. Oh, yes. We are here to pray for those who are out of God and Christ in this crusade season. And let me tell you something. You won't, you won't regret nothing that you do in this time. You just give your heart to God. This one little heart, he said, give me thine heart, children, and I will give you my father's everlasting kingdom. God has been so good. And so this, this afternoon, as we come and as we listen to the preacher, we pray, God, that you would pour out a special blessing upon him. Oh, yes. Lord, we long to see backsliders coming to you. Mm -hmm. There are so many of them, even in my family, mm -hmm. backsliders are there. Mm -hmm. And saved are there, but let me say this. God, I pray that you touch every one of them today. Mm. Those in church, I don't know why some of you don't want to give your heart to the Lord. God is so good. Mm. Him good in good in good. So if somebody saying good till him bad. Mm. God good in good in good. Please give your heart to the Lord. Oh, yes. And say, please give your heart to the Lord. Backsliders, please return. You don't know what you're looking for out there. Because they say sin is sweet. Yes, it is sweet. But as I always said to me, when people run in for money, everybody wants rich. But when you carry the money to you, can't care go ahead for hell, no want no money. Okay. And help have all the money that you want. So, you know, happy look for none to carry. Just give your heart to the Lord. Just trust Him. Trust Him. I'm begging you. 
I tell you, I feel so sweet in Jesus. These children will tell you. When we couldn't come to church, we said, Jesus, mm -hmm. I wonder if the white here does it for me head. <laughs> Why don't I feel enough to come? Mm -hmm. But we ask God to help me to come back and here I am. Mm -hmm. That I can come and worship with my brothers and sisters, friends and everybody. You just keep sweet in Jesus. And Lord, I pray that you would provide for everybody that doesn't have anything to do. Those of us who have, let us give. And give with a willing heart. I pray again for the preacher, Brother Carlin. Lord, I pray that you would give him a double portion of your spirit today. Oh, yes. And that the unsaved might come mm. by the dropping of his word and come to seek you mm. while, while you can be found. Because they will, want, they will look for you and they not go find you. But Jesus, I am just asking you today that backsliders will return. He said he was married to the backsliders, so come and marry to Jesus. None of the men they were married to no sweet like Jesus. So all of them will come. Everybody who are backsliders come back to Jesus. He will give you all that you need. I just ask these few words in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you, for Thank you, Sister Bajkam. At this time, we welcome Reverend Granville Codlin. We are excited to hear what God has placed on his heart to share with us. Let's give him a hand as he comes. Can we give God a better hand than that, everybody? Thank you, my sister, for having given me a warm welcome. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I greet you well. How are you doing? You're doing well. Amen. I want to greet Pastor in his absence. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, Pastor in his absence. Let's wait until I get a sound. <laughs> All right, it's coming. Don't worry, it's coming. Patience. Amen. Amen. Can you look at your neighbor and give your neighbor the best smile you can find? I didn't say laugh, I said smile. Amen. I'm sure that uh, you have just saved a doctor's bill. Amen. It's always good to laugh and smile because when, it, when, you, when you do, it releases happy cells in your body and your body heals itself. It's good to be in the house of God. As I was saying, I greet Pastor and Sister Bertine in their absence. I am indeed happy to be with you this afternoon. It has been a long time I have not been in um, Roundstone Tabernacle, but I'm happy to be here today. Amen. Amen. I see a handsome man on the, on the organ. You're there, sir. I'm no longer a slave to fear. All right, just, 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 just get it and hold it for me, all right? Hold it. It's good to have with me brother and sister Marsh. I pulled them along with me today. Um, so good to have them. Um, his father, I think he knows his father, was the person who brought the best coat from the state for me. Bishop Clark gave Deacon Marsh a coat. That was my first jacket. That was some 20 odd years ago. 20 odd years ago. Good to have him and his wife. Amen. All our brothers and sisters that are viewing us, I want to greet you well. Good to be here. Now um, I see so many young people, so many young people in this building, and I am tempted to say, honor your elders. Amen. Respect your elders. It's very, very important that you respect your elders. Listen to them. Get, get their wisdom. 
gain their wisdom. Amen. Because you, you can save yourself a lot of trouble by listening to the wisdom of your elders. Amen. And so today I'm going to share the word. I'm going to read from 2 Chronicles chapter, 2 Samuel chapter 9. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. From my mother's womb, you have chosen me. Love has called my name I've been born again Into your family Your blood runs through my veins I'm no longer a slave to fear Hallelujah I am a child From your mother's womb, he has chosen you. Love has called your name. You've been born again. It's so right to worship in the family. Somebody testify. I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. You split the sea so I can walk right through it. Down and up and up. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Come on, somebody magnify the name of Jesus. Somebody magnify the name of the Lord God. All I want, nothing else, is for you. You to be glorified. You to be lifted. I, all I want is for you. You to be glorified. You to be lifted. I, fill my life. Till all they see is you, Lord, glorify your name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we humble our hearts in your presence today. We know that you are God. We stand in reverence and humility, for there is no God like you. You spin things in orbit. You tell the sun where to hide. You give boundaries to the sea. We worship you today. Oh God, we want to be silent so that men can hear your voice again. So that men can hear your voice as in the days of old. When men would yield to your voice, because, Father, as men, we have been speaking for a long time and no one respond. But today we ask in the name of Jesus that you will speak in this environment. Lord, we ask right now that everything that is diabolical be arrested, be powerless in Jesus' name. Every assignment to hinder this word, every assignment to hinder the salvation of humanity. We bind in Jesus' name. We thank you, God, for those who have testified. And we ask, God, that those who should be saved today, that they will be saved. Hallelujah. We rebuke stout-heartedness. We rebuke rebellion. We command rebellion to cease in this house. Oh, hallelujah. Speak again, Lord. Bring home a backslider. Bring home a wayward son, a wayward daughter. Bring home a man or a woman today, Lord. As we give you praise. Let not men see man. Oh God, we have vaunt. We have, we have stood in the limelight for such a long time. But God, hide us today. Hide us today. Let not men celebrate man, but let men celebrate you, Lord, and your greatness. Oh, God, be great among us again. Be great among us again. Oh, may we come to the place where we don't need stimulant to worship, but your presence and who you represent, oh, God, will somehow inform our worship. Take joy today. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Somebody worship the name of the Lord God. Somebody worship the name of Jesus. Please be seated for a little while. And how I'm feeling in my spirit today. I feel like I really don't want to preach because we have been preaching for years and we're not seeing the sign we should be seeing. And God, over the past few months, have allowed not, 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 not send, but allowed COVID-19 to shake up this world. COVID-19 is, is, is evangelist in every language that is saying there is 
a God. There is a God in every language, in every nation. COVID-19 is saying there is a God. Because man has no control over this virus. Absolutely powerless. This virus is evolving. It is evolving. And when, when they think they nab COVID-19, it evolves into something else. And all of this is happening so that man will conclude that there is a God. I don't need to preach today. I don't. I don't need to preach because we look at thousands of the world who have died. You have loved ones who have not gotten the chance to say bye to their loved ones. God is speaking. God is speaking. Some persons have learned through COVID-19 that you can survive without a nine to five. Because God is the true and living God. Oh, somebody worship him today. Come on, somebody worship him. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Sing with me a great, a great is our God. Is our God sing with me? How great is our God, and though we see how great, hallelujah, how great is our God. Come on, stand with me, church. Stand with me, stand with me, and right now. In the good times and bad, you were on your throne. You are God alone. And right now, in the good times and bad, and right now, in the good times. And now you are on your throne. You are God alone, unchangeable, unshakable, unstoppable. That's who you are, unchangeable. Please be seated for a little while. Hallelujah. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live, I live for you alone. Every breath I take, every moment I'm away.
is my desire. Let's give God this moment. Lord, we give you my heart. Come on, come on, drums, don't tabernacle my soul. He has been speaking to you with COVID-19. Hey, respond to him today. Respond in worship. Respond in thanksgiving. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. That's the best we can do. <laughs> I give you my heart So I live for you Alone Every prayer Hallelujah Every moment Clear his glory and the firmament shows his and the works. For me to live is Christ, for me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Lord, I give you my heart, give you my soul. Lord, I live for you. Alone, every prayer I take, every moment, I'll hey, have your way in me. Lord, I give you my heart, give you my Yeah. 
in me. Somebody worship God. Hey! He's preaching. He's speaking. Have your way. Hey, come on. Hallelujah. Lord, have your way in me. Lord, have your way. Come on, I'm letting go. I'm letting go. Come on, church of the living God. Hey! Hallelujah. 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 Come on. He is worthy. He is the mighty God. He can be trusted. He is reliable. He is the only wise God. Come on, church of the living God. Come on. Come on, hey, yes, yes. It's gonna be all right, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Tell him to have his way. Hallelujah, come on, hey. Come on, lift your praises, God has been good. The reason why we're here today is because of his mercies. He kept you, he kept me, he preserved you. He preserved me. I am Oshania. Somebody needs to give him your best praise. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like praising, praising him. I feel like Praising, praising Him. Come on and praise the Lord while you have a chance. While you have a chance. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him on the Lord. I feel like praising, praising. I search all over, couldn't find nobody. Young people, I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody. nobody. Greater than you. Somebody worship God. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater. Somebody testify. Nobody greater. Nobody greater than you Search all over Couldn't find no one Looked high and low Still couldn't find no one Nobody greater Nobody greater Give me you 
everything else can wait give me you I hope I'm not too late Lord give me you hey hallelujah give me you Somebody need to say that today. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Give me you. Hope I'm not Give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Every backslider today, every unsaved person, there is no guarantee that we're going to have this opportunity again. Things are just changing. Things are changing. We are in uncertain days. So much uncertainty. But when we are in Christ Jesus, it shall be well. Somebody praise the name of the Lord God. Keep it right there. Five minutes and I close. Be seated. Keep it right there. Five minutes and I close. Young people, young men, young women. It's time to give the Lord Jesus Christ a chance in your life mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes yes that's the Holy Spirit is here with us and all we have to do is to yield yield to him I feel restoration in this house I feel healing and deliverance in this house salvation is in this house there is there is a package in this house with your name on it oh won't you put a praise on it hallelujah hey 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 there is a miracle in this house with your name on it put a praise on it oh Ramasa. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to share just one verse because the Lord says don't preach. Because God has been preaching. He has been preaching. He has been speaking. Speaking night season and day season. He spoke through COVID-19. He spoke to the Saharan desert sand. He's telling us that he is in control and he does whatever he wants in the kingdom of men.
Nebuchadnezzar after learning how to humble himself before God he said to every nation every language every tongue he said listen I wanted to know that the most High God he is the true God for he sets up one and takes down another and those who exalt themselves is able to allow them to become nothing that's the God we serve and nations and people we have been trivializing God over the years and the time to honor him has returned we have been trivializing him when he speaks we say God not now some other time when he shows visible signs we shake our shoulders and we walk away from him but I want us to know that God is a loving God but he that is often reproved stiffness neck and hardness heart God says they will experience suddenly suddenly they will be cut off and that without cure speaking to a backslider who is putting off God everything else can wait Jesus now more than ever for we are sailing in stormy weather can we tell him yes and we say yes 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 lord yes and we say to your way second Samuel chapter 9 and verse 7 now I want us to understand what's happening here a serious war occurred and one man was displaced by the war Mephibosheth when war came his caregiver ran with him and she dropped him and he became lame in both feet and end up in Lodibar losing all his inheritance everything he lost and he was now in Lodibar a lot of persons have been misplaced displaced rather a lot of things have been happening over the past few months. A lot of persons are not where they should be. But I believe God is calling some persons to come as you are. Come without delay. Come without procrastination. Come as you are. Verse 9 says, verse 7 rather, so this was when Mephibosheth entered into the presence of the king. He was now where he belonged. He was at the right place. He was in the presence of the king. And the king said unto him, number one, fear not. You have been in Lodibar for a long time. Lodibar signifies a place of bondage. Oh, hallelujah. It signifies a place where people lose their identity. And once he came into the presence of the king, the king said to him, Fear not, Mephibosheth, for I will surely show thee kindness. And this is a result of your father, that is Jonathan. 
And I will restore to thee all the land of Saul thy father. And thou shalt eat bread at my table continually. It's fascinating that when the king, King David, brought Mephibosheth into the environment, he said to him, everything is going to be all right. Can you whisper that to your neighbor? Say, neighbor, everything is going to be all right. As long as you are in the king's house, everything is going to be all right. Come on, say, neighbor, you don't have to fear tomorrow. You don't have to fear next month. You don't want to fear the rest of the year. As long as you are in the king's house, the king is going to make sure that provision is made. Somebody shout yes. Come on, somebody shout yes. I'm speaking to two sets of people. I'm speaking to those who have already come out of Lodibar and those who are yet to come out of Lodibar. If you come out of Lodibar, you will be taken care of. Lord of mercy. I'm one of them, if I'm in the right church, can I, can, I, can, I, can I lose myself and preach a little bit? Are you here with me? For when you are in the king's house, the king will make sure that your table is furnished. Are you here with me? For there is a God, even though you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for he's going to make sure that you're taken care of. I'm not saying to expect an overflow but your bills will be paid food will be on your table and clothes will be on your back why because you are in the king's house I hear the psalmist says I was young but now I'm old I've never somebody say never I've never seen the righteous forsaken there are some persons who are worrying and you're fretting yourself how you're going to survive but I'm here to tell you that with God you're going to make it with God you're going to be sustained somebody show yes come on somebody show yes I said I wasn't gonna preach so don't preach preach don't preach I remember this week I was going to Ocherius to buy some stuff. My wife and I, we prayed about it and we were going to buy some stuff. We reach at the stoplight and I hear ping the phone message came in. Don't practice it. Don't drive and do it. So at the stoplight I checked it and the store who don't know me, who don't know my number, who don't know, well know my number but don't know who I am text to say we are offering 15% discount to you we talk to nobody but God but God who owns the world allow a company to send a text to my phone to say the things you're going to buy you're going to get discount don't tell me that God is dead come on don't tell me that God is dead as long as in, you're in the king's house, put your praise on, put your worship on. It's going to be all right. Come on, tell somebody it's going to be all right. Fear not. Fear not. Don't worry about the food. Don't worry about the bills. It, oh, fear the Holy Ghost. You're going to pay your mortgage. You're going to pay the installment. Your bills are going to pay because you serve a mighty provider. Somebody show yes. I wish somebody could jump on your feet and just thank God that you're going to survive this thing. You are in the king's house. You are. If you read the text well, you'll understand that David said to Mephibosheth, I'm going to treat you like a son. I'm going to treat you like a son. So in other words, because of the king's heart and the king's desire, he was not willing to favor 
an outcast. He was not willing to restore a man who was rejected. Why? Because he has a heart. Now, if the earthly king can possess such a heart, how much more? King Jesus. <laughs> Feed the Holy Ghost. There is a call. There is a call. There is a call to persons who are away from God. You are in Lodibar. It is a house of bondage. It is a house where you lose your identity. When Mephibosheth reached the king's house, the king says, All that was yours is been restored. He restored his identity. Oh, he restored his inheritance. He restored his legacy. And right now I'm speaking to a backslider like the prodigal son walked away from God. But if you come back, a spirit of restoration is coming your direction. I'm through preaching. I'm through preaching. Fear not, said God, as long as you are in the king's house, kindness is coming your way. Restoration is coming your way. And adoption is coming your way. First John chapter 3, it says, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed on us, that we should be called the children, the sons and daughters of God. But it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. This is my desire. To honor you. you, Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. Lord, have your way in me. You see, there is a fear factor. There is a fear factor. You notice, David said to Mephibosheth, the first thing he said, fear not. Because most times, persons are afraid to make certain decisions because they don't know the unknown. They don't know the hereafter. And so you find that in a setting like this, persons are afraid to come because they're wondering what will happen next. What will my life be? But I can testify, no man who choose Jesus ever become worse in life? No man who ever choose Jesus becomes worse in life. What the enemy does at times is to paint pictures to say, if you give up that, 
give up all of that. You're going to give up all of that for God. But God has better. Anything you walk away from, I guarantee that the God of heaven has better. Somebody praise the name of the Lord God. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. A young man, I was 17 when I got saved. 17, a young man, 17. And about two or three years after I got saved, I said, oh my God. If I had known that salvation was so sweet, I would have given my heart to Jesus a long time ago. Hallelujah. 30 odd years later, do you have regret? Only one. I should have got saved before 17. But there is no regret in serving Jesus Christ. I see a lot of young people here today and my heart goes out for our youths because there is a diabolical prophetic utterance that has been released over this nation that by 2030 Jamaica will become an atheist country I bind that in Jesus name and I'm saying the young people who are here who are saved you are the generation that will hold Christianity and Jesus Christ solid in this nation. Somebody praise the name of the Lord God. Lord of mercy, I feel a little bit radical now because they are importing other gods in this nation. They're importing them from India and Africa and other parts of the world. But Jehovah, he is the true and living God. Our national anthem is based an eternal father I want to pray today I want the church to be in prayer this moment is a moment when transaction is going to take place between earth and heaven this is a crucial moment it's a crucial moment it's not a moment that we should take lightly because the Bible says the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness when we get saved there is a transfer there is a transaction a movement from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light and there are some forces in between that we want to block the transition but I want somebody today oh hallelujah bow your heads and begin to pray pray you never know it might be your son or daughter it might be someone who you have been praying for for a very long time but I strongly believe that somebody today need to come as you are you are in the king's house but you are not yet adopted you need to be adopted because Becoming a son or a daughter of God. I want you to know right now that you are important. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. This moment is your moment of importance. It's a moment when you, your identity is going to be restored. When all the years that the enemy has robbed you as you step out and step to Jesus, a spirit of restoration is activated over your life oh God almighty pray church pray I want somebody right now you are a backslider you are not saved I don't want anyone to be looking around this is divine transaction pray church pray pray hallelujah pray that God will release pray that God will deliver pray that God will convict and God will convert in Jesus name somebody need to get saved today somebody need to walk home back a changed person hallelujah hallelujah and so right now someone need to pray pray the Lord of the harvest a sent worker I am standing here as a worker and I'm saying right now somebody a young man a young man who have been battered and bruised and you have been displaced we are saying today is a day of restoration walk into the king's court walk into the king's house a young man who have tried many things and they have failed you are not happy your life is not happy you are disappointed with where you are yes you might be happy with where you are but there's still a missing link you might be disappointed in how life is turning but right now you can 
come to this altar as the preacher invites you you can come right now and allow the Holy Spirit to readjust rearrange and revive all that was dead and buried that's the God we serve come on church pray who will be the first one that will say preacher pray for me I need your prayer I want it to come right now oh yes I know I know my brother nobody look around don't look around I know that you are a chosen vessel my brother the hand of God is on you hey, come on church of the living God pray this is a time of decision and transition oh Jesus loves you greatness is on your life this is your season weeping may endure for a night come on church pray 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 I don't want anybody to look around somebody need deliverance somebody need newness we are still waiting get up out of your seat move from Lodibar move from Lodibar don't die in Lodibar move into the king's house move into where you can reach your true potential you can reach your identity your identity can be restored is there somebody else I'm waiting somebody else need to come somebody else need to join this preacher get up out of your seat young man the Holy Spirit oh yes something might be saying to you sit down but fight it in Jesus name and get up get up out of Lodibar yes get up out of Lodibar God is calling you today enough is enough Lodibar means no pastor nobody's caring for you in Lodibar but when you come into the king's house goodness and mercy shall follow you he will allow you to have a table spread oh yes husband is on the table job is on the table wife is on the table everything you need is on the table that's a God we serve can we pray for somebody else don't look around church it's prayer time we have two men and one woman we are still praying God is speaking to a young man get up out of your seat this is a moment for you to break free break into purpose break into destiny break into a new level of your life come on hallelujah hey, get up get up don't sit down get up your mind is your mind is fighting you the flesh is fighting you but get up right now and come to God come into the king's house be a part of his family he loves you Jesus loves you he wants to embrace you he wants to release on your life oh all oh, that the years the years the wasted years the wasted life he wants to restore it he wants to give you back your joy he wants to give you back your peace give you back your sleep at night you have lost some money he wants to restore it why because he is a loving God I know the Holy Ghost is speaking. Somebody, somebody else, somebody else. Let's let's tarry a little bit more. Somebody else. The Bible says, knowing the terror of God, we persuade men. Somebody else need to come. Somebody, somebody, somebody need to be restored. Oh, somebody need to be restored. You need to hear sweet words again. You've been hearing condemnation. You've been living in regret. You've been living in remorse. But today, today, this 26th day of June. July 2020 God is about to turn things around he's about to plant your feet on solid ground he's about to give you a new outlook in life somebody showed God come on somebody showed God stand with me church somebody showed God come on somebody showed God Come on church, stand with me. Come on, stand with me. This is a serious moment. Oh yes, I was up early this morning seeking to hear from God, seeking to prepare because somebody in Brownstown needs salvation. Somebody in this environment needs Jesus. I feel right now that shackles, shackles have been broken. Chains have been broken. In the name of Jesus, I release on them today uh, the power of Almighty God yes you, you came uh, I was waiting for you my brother I release on you today uh, the power of Almighty God uh, to break every shackle to break every chain uh, come and lift your hands up uh, I release on you today uh, 
the power of God oh yes to change the season to change the season and bring upon you a new season in Jesus name in Jesus name I burst asunder every web I burst asunder every rope and cord and chain that has been attached to your life I command you now be delivered be delivered be delivered be delivered be delivered be delivered oh god i feel the holy ghost come on church pray be delivered we are pulling you out of the kingdom of darkness yes yes the king's table the king's son he wants to restore There was a church of the living God. Yes. Yes, we are saying to the enemy, loose. We are saying to the powers of darkness, loose. Hands off. Hands off this young man. Destiny. Hallelujah. Destiny. Hallelujah. We call resurrection power right now. Hey. We pull him out of Lodibar. We pull him out of Lodibar. We pull him out of the place that is not cared for. And we bring him into the palace, into the throne room, into where the King Jesus lives. Oh, yeah, 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 Musa. In the name of Jesus. Come on, church. Transaction is happening. We are not playing. We are not playing. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of God must spread into lives and hearts. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child. Come on, church, pray. Can we have some Holy Ghost men to stand behind this man? Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. God is breaking and loosing. Some men from the ministry just come and stand behind this man. Yes, 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 yes. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. There are some great people that are in Lodibar. They are great, but they are trapped in Lodibar today. We are pulling them out. We are fetching them out of Lodibar. Yes, Lord. Make him great. Make him a great man. Make him renowned. Dead dreams, dead prayers that were prayed over him. We command them to be resurrected today. Be resurrected and come into fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Every spell, every spell, every diabolical assignment, we strip, give, give me some oil. We strip them off him today. We strip them off him today by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. From my mother's womb, you have chosen me. Love has called. Your name is called today. He's calling you. He's calling you. Born again. My family, come on, somebody celebrate God. It's not man, it's God. Runs through my pain. I'm no longer a slave. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I am a child. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, total, complete, 100%. are a great man and you have been blessed you have been blessed tremendously blessed and God is, is calling you into safety it's calling you into safety a person like you the enemy will do anything to kill 
He will do anything to take you out. But God has kept you. And today, today, with the anointing that is in this place, we are not sending you back out there in the camp of the enemy. We are saying to you, come into the kingdom. Become a kingdom son. Become a kingdom child. Come on, lift your hands and tell him, yeah. You split the sea so I can walk. Yes, come on. Don't be afraid to lift your hands. Keep it up, keep it up. Rescue Brownstone Tabernacle Rescue Season Rescue Mission I hear my child Love God I watched this brother As I preach I watched him And I looked at him and I said Boy, he looked like one of us Looked like he He has been in this thing Today, my brother, this is a day. There was a young man by the name of Orane Johnson. He's now in Canada. You look just like him. God wants to use you. Won't you tell him yes? Tell him yes. Tell him yes today. Tell him yes, he wants to use you. C can I prophesy? You have a big heart, not because of your size, but you have a big heart, a good heart. You have a very, very good heart. And God wants to use that heart for his glory. You, you, you are kind. And I have to be careful because sometimes it's, it's close between the Holy Spirit and your own spirit. And you, you have to be careful because you don't want to speak, does say the preacher, but does say God. Because of your heart sometimes, you get hurt because of the kind of heart you have. But God today wants to bring you into his house and give you wisdom beyond your peers beyond your seniors and beyond your age tell him yes I guarantee you I'm not saying it will be a better rose I'm not saying tomorrow is going to be all sweet but you stay with him it will be worth it look at me today I was a wretched gambler wretched gambler. I remember at the age of about 15, 16 police to go to 38 and point it in my direction. Nothing happened. So I wasn't born a Christian. I was a wretched, rugged sinner. But one day I came to the altar 30 odd years ago 19 December December 1986 to be specific and I said I'm going to give you a try that's all I said I'm going to give you a try I remember when I went out I said to my brother at the door I said listen I'm giving Jesus a try if you see me do anything you're seeing me doing anything just, just speak to me because I'm giving him a try do I regret that try? young lady you're there the Holy Spirit is going to work on her lift your hands today, lift those hands you are here today as answer to prayer someone has been praying for you calling out your name praying for your strength standing in the gap in the gap for you stand with me church I'm going to close now 
Remember someone somewhere is praying for you. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. Your face looks familiar, you know. Your face looks familiar. I'm trying to get to the computer. But listen carefully. The Bible says, this is how we become Christians. The Bible says, if we confess our sins. In other words, we ask him, Lord, this is how I did it when I got saved. I said, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Wash me, Lord. Cleanse me. Make me a new person. That, that's what, what I did. I said, Lord, make me a new person. All that I've done, forgive me. I prayed that prayer. The next step is to believe that I was forgiven. Once you believe that you are forgiven, your life is clean. There is no condemnation. All that you have done is thrown in the sea of forgetfulness. And you are a brand new person. The Bible says once you do that, you experience justification. Justification is just as if you had not sinned. It is so clean that it's as if you have never done anything wrong. That's what God does when we confess, my sister. When we say, Lord, I know me. I'm a sinner, forgive me. And we believe it, trust me transaction is done you are a brand new man oh I wanted to bow your heads I want to lead you in the sinner's spirit today I'm not leaving it a chance just say after me father all of you father father in the name of Jesus don't be afraid to open your mouth I come to you today I ask father in the name of Jesus that you will forgive me of all my sins Lord I'm sorry that I have lived a life of sin forgive me today write my name in the Lamb's book of life Satan I renounce your stronghold on my life my life belong to Jesus Christ Jesus I thank you for saving me right now and I thank you that I am saved somebody give the Lord a shout of praise come on somebody magnify the name of Jesus come on somebody magnify the name of the Lord Hallelujah. Five more minutes and I close. I'm going to ask the counselors to take them. Take them, counselors. Take them, please. Take them. Believers remain standing. Five minutes and I close. Close now. Yes, take them. Take them. We love them. Please find them after service. Hug them. Embrace them. And just love them. Hallelujah. Somebody worship the name of Jesus. Now, I, I want us to, to walk in obedience. I want everybody in the building to stand. Everybody in the building to stand. Apart from our sister that is in the wheelchair. And she can stand till the Holy Ghost prompt her to stand. She can receive healing in her system. I want to speak to us for two or three minutes. Because what's happening is that a lot of us as Christians have been pauperized by the system. So it's test upon test upon test. Scan upon scan upon scan and a lot of person are losing thousands of dollars through the system. I want us to know that we serve a God who does miracles. Somebody praise the name of the Lord God. I want you to know that we serve a God who heals sick bodies. And there are some persons you have been extracted with the little finance that you have saved. And I'm saying today, if you believe God, you can stop the hemorrhaging. Yeah. 
somebody praise the name of Jesus so if you have sickness in your body you need to declare in Jesus name I am healed come on I release healing in this house Lord Jesus come on somebody need to say thank you Jesus come on I... one more minute and I close one of the ways to receive something is with outstretched hands if you're going to receive something your hand must be outstretched hallelujah somebody praise the name of the Lord God so right now in this atmosphere I'm releasing healing on your life through the power of the Holy Spirit somebody receive healing right now for that cancer for that migraine for that back pain oh for that lower pain in Jesus name for that arthritis oh for that for that eye condition I command healing I command healing for that ear condition in the name of Jesus that hand that is being that is experiencing pain I say healing oh say my healing come on come on somebody release healing today release he receive healing today receive healing I release healing in the name of Jesus I release provision in Jesus name I release provision in the name of Jesus hallelujah somebody praise the name of the Lord God come on somebody give the Lord a shout of praise somebody give the Lord a shout of praise come on it's not Come on, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. You don't have to feel it to believe it. You just need to confess it. I am healed. I am blessed. Oh, my needs are met in the name of Jesus. Somebody show yes. Somebody show yes. God bless your hearts today. Thank you so much. Shall we give the Lord a praise? Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. You may be seated, please. Bless the name of Jesus. God has spoken. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Fear not. Fear not. God is awesome. God has spoken today in song and in spoken words. I want to thank God for those who have come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Virgin, telling all the time, you know, if you don't trust God, when you trust God, you have everything, life and everything, but you have to trust God. I've said it already, God has prepared His people for a time like now that we are in, in the COVID time. He has prepared His people. And certainly, if you are a child of God, you have nothing to fear. Because the Bible said, fear not. And he said, I'll be with you. I will provide all your needs. I'll open doors for you. And I will bless you. I want to thank God for our Reverend Codlin who will come and share with us today. We thank you, sir. And I trust that the Lord will continue to bless you and fill you again for his work. On behalf of the church, we want to say thanks. And Pastor, who's that here? We want to say thanks to you for coming and speak to us today. Let's all stand as we close in prayer. Father, we want to thank you again, Lord, for this moment that you have given to us. We thank you, Lord, for your word that has gone forth. We thank you, Lord, for those whom heart you have pierced today by coming to you to accept you as Lord and Savior of their lives. We pray, God, that you will continue to keep them continue to provide for them continue to lift them up to fill them Lord God with your Holy Spirit we thank you Lord that you are God and there is none like you we thank you Lord that we can trust you 
You remind us that we must fear not. You remind us that you'll be with us all the way. And so we thank you for your worship today. We thank you, God, for the way in which you have come to us today. We pray, God, your anointing upon us as we leave this place. Lord, we do not know, God, about this week coming, but God, if we shall go through this week, we ask God for your continual leading. We ask God for your continual blessing. We ask God that you made us lift us up and fill us with the Holy Spirit and help us to rejoice only in you because you are God. There is none like you. We can search the whole eternity and find none like you. We thank you for all that has been done today. We pray, God, that you will continue to bless us as we continue, Lord God, to reap, oh God, the harvest, as we continue to harvest for your kingdom. We pray, God, that you will continue to help us, oh God, to, to share with those who have not yet known you as Lord and Savior, to tell them that Jesus saves, to tell them that he's coming back again. You remind us in the word that we must seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto us. We thank you for those who have seek you and find you. We pray for those who are seeking and, and have not yet found you. We ask God that we will find you before it's too late. And so we thank you for today. Thank you for all of us who are here. God, we are so much in danger on the road, but we pray, God, for your guidance and your protection. We ask, God, that you'll take back your manservant to his home abode, and that, Lord God, you'll bring them home safe. All of us who are here, we pray for a safe journey, and we ask your anointing upon us, your blessing upon us, as we look to the hills from whence come unto our help. Our help comes from you, in Jesus' name. And now, by the saving grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the faithful fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest, remain, and abide with us all, now and ever shall be. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Second offering. Okay, we'll be having a second offering. So you may be seated. We'll be having a second offering for the radio program, please. Just a few minutes. Thank you. Could we have a song from the...